Coal Cracker is my favorite water ride on the amusement side at Hershey Park. It's a fun log flume, although some people consider it a roller coaster because of the bunny hump at the end. This ride is over 50 years old and still going strong. I'll explain what makes it such a crowd pleaser in this review. Aerodynamics debuted the log flume in 1963. This ride was immensely popular. The ride was not too wild to deter families, but the climactic plunge at the end attracted thrill seekers as well. And the splash made it a top option for hot summer days. These sprung up at parks all across the world. A decade later, Arrow created a variant of the log flume known as the hydro flume. This was nearly identical except for a bunny hump after the final plunge. One of the first installations was Coal Cracker at Hershey Park. This opened in 1973. It would eventually become the main ride in Mine Town, but that themed area has since been retired and incorporated into what is now known today as Kissing Tower Hill. Coal Cracker has a unique layout. If you're unfamiliar with Hershey Park, it is a very hilly park. Much of the layout runs on a hill adjacent to Park Boulevard. And the ride also closely interacts with two coasters that came later. The ride passes underneath both Great Bear and Super Duper Looper, which creates some fun visuals along the route. One difference compared to most flumes is the boat design. Most log flumes, as the name suggests, have guests sitting in fiberglass logs. Coal Cracker has these silver boats to better tie into the name, Unfortunately, that is the extent of the ride's theming. There are no props nor paraphernalia during the layout. If this ride is a priority for you, know that Coal Cracker currently only operates during the summer season. It has operated during the spring and fall occasionally in the past, but not consistently. You can usually ride Coal Cracker with minimal to no weight if you head there early or late in the day. Mid-afternoon, the ride usually has a 15 to 30 minute wait, but that can be much higher on a particularly hot and busy day. When the ride originally opened, it had an advertised capacity of 2,200 people per hour. That assumed 30 boats were in use, and each boat was filled completely with 5 riders. While the ride does not operate with those numbers anymore, it still pumps through a lot of guests. And that is even with Hershey Park typically allowing individual groups or parties to have their own boat. The capacity is so good because of multiple boats, and the ride is a turntable load platform. Guests and employees have a sense of urgency, loading and unloading. Some flumes have different seats or restraints. Coal Cracker has none of that. It is just one continuous bench down the middle, and guests sit in line, holding onto the railing at the side. Once dispatched, you head up your first lift. This takes you up the hill, going underneath Super Duper Looper and Coal Cracker itself. Once at the top, you round a turn passing countless supports for Great Bear. Then you quickly continue down the trough. You move at a good clip relative to other flumes. The visuals are also enjoyable. The hill has a lot of greenery, and it also provides great views of the adjacent Super Duper Looper. You then have your second lift hill. This brings you up to the ride's max height. At the top, you have a small dip and slowly float towards the final plunge, which technically is two drops side by side. The ride splits off into two separate troughs at this point to maximize capacity. The drop is 49 feet, or 15 meters tall, which is pretty good size for an older log flume like this. It has a 35 degree max angle of descent, so it's not super steep, but it is a decent drop. Good speed, just no air time, on the drop at least. Immediately afterwards, there's a tiny bunny hill. Now this gives you air time. You get a solid pop, especially because there's absolutely nothing holding you in. This is the best part of the ride by far and it's the primary reason some people count this as a coaster credit. I personally do not, but I do get the argument because there is a tracked element here. The resultant splashdown is fun because it bounces the boat up and down, but you barely get more than a trickle. That's even if you have a boat with five people in it. That was fine when the ride operated in the cooler months, 
but it is a bit disappointing coming off dry in those hot summer months. You then return to the station, ending the 2,000 foot or 610 meter long course. Minus the time spent on the station turntable, the course takes roughly 3 minutes to complete. So what would I rate Coal Cracker? I would give this log flume a 7 out of 10. It is a good installation. I like the unique placement between the terrain use and ride interactions. The final plunge is enjoyable, and I really like the subsequent bunny hill. I wish there was a second drop somewhere along the route, and that you got a bit wetter, but this is an above average log flume, and it's well worth riding during a visit. Just don't expect it to cool you off though. So those are my thoughts on Coal Cracker at Hershey Park. What are your thoughts on this Aero Hydro Flume? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there will be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.